Hi everybody, what's up? I'm Abhi Shankara and you are joining me on From the Living Room, a new series by the National Arts Council where we bring the arts directly to you in your living room. Okay, uh, we're going through a tough time. Everybody knows that um, a lot of the theatre venues and the arts venues have been closed, but it's okay. It doesn't mean we can't bring arts and culture right to you. And here we are. So today we have a group of talented musicians who will be serenading us with their beautiful music. So without further ado, let me invite Tetra Quartet. Hi guys. Hello. 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 <laughs> How are you guys doing? Good. Good, good. Good. Good, good. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us today. We have uh, Edmund. Edmund, wave for us. Hello. <laughs> we have Ryan, Ryan Wave. We have May. Hi. And we have Brenda. Hello. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Okay, I will get to all of you really, really soon. But to kick things off, I'm going to uh, have a quick chat with Edmund, okay? Hi, Edmund, how are you doing? Hello. Great, great. <laughs> doing fine. Doing fine, okay. Edmund, you know, uh, growing up, I was forced to study the organ, uh, learn the organ actually, uh, but I never really picked it up. I just want to ask you, what got you into loving music and learning a musical instrument, making it a profession? Uh, what got me is uh, probably, I, I started off on the piano, where like in every, every uh, Asian kid needs to have a, a huge variety of classes. So my parents actually yeah. signed me up for piano. When I, Sooner or later, I went to the Chinese orchestra, wanted to learn the erhu, my fingers got too big, I went to the cello, I grow, grow too tall, I, so I went on to the double bass. Yeah, then on I actually went to audition to the National Youth Orchestra and then uh, much later when I decided that hey, music is my thing, I got inspired when I actually, actually in the National Youth Orchestra and then um, I decided to go and audition for the Yong Chiu Conservatory of Music. And uh, with the acceptance into the Yong Soo Conservatory of Music, that actually affirms me to say that, hey, music is going to be my profession in the future. And also, it affirms my parents to, to uh, give the to, confidence to in me. To believe in you. Yeah, yes, yeah, to course, believe in me. To, yeah, that music is the thing. Because to be honest, playing the double bass, sometimes people call it a cold instrument because no, not many people want it. There's a, a few barriers of entry. So that's the resistance from them. But with me getting all of these places and all of these affirmations from different organizations, yeah, and, and for myself and for my parents, we all think that, hey, music is going to be a profession and music will be my thing. Fantastic, fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing that with us, Edmund. So what do you have for us to kick things off? So up next, we will be playing the first movement of Mozart's Violin and Viola Duo Number no. 1, K423, who will be pl played by Brenda on the violin and May on the viola. Let's, let's take it away.
And that was Mozart's duo for violin and viola number one. Wow, beautiful. Next up, we have Brenda with us. Hi, Brenda. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. <laughs> okay. Brenda, I, I, I hear that you are actually um, studying in the States, yes? Or yeah, you I, just, States? I just finished up my, yeah, I just finished up my graduate studies at Peabody Institute how is in that Maryland. Ex experience like? Uh, my experience in the States was very, very refreshing, very eye-opening. Um, I mm -hmm. changed quite a lot as a person and a musician to somebody who is more comfortable with like opinions and feedback and what I truly like and dislike. Um, I think the culture there has really helped me to grow and be comfortable with who I am myself. Oh, that's fantastic to hear. Definitely, you know, going overseas gives you different perspectives, especially as an artist, we, we, we need that kind of perspective. So, what do you have for us next? Um, I have the third movement of the Rossini duetto for cello and bass, and this will be played mm -hmm. by Ryan and Edmund. Okay, fantastic. Let's, let's go.
and that was Rossini's duet in D major for cello and bass. Wow. Okay. Next up, we have Ryan with us. Hi, Ryan. Hi, Abby. <laughs> I really love your background, Ryan. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Very artistic. Okay, Ryan, I hear that you're a teacher. Yes, I'm a cellist and cello teacher. Yeah. Okay. So, and you studied overseas in Germany. How have you used that approach um, in your teaching? Have you uh, kind of created something new in the way you've uh, you've approached teaching your students? Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm not sure if it's a different approach, but um, mm -hmm. I like to use uh, metaphors in my teaching to engage mm -hmm. the mind and imagination of my students. For example, if we are to play a passage that is very staccato and detached. I like to use the word uh, crispy, like crispy fried chicken, yeah? Because I find that it works for them to imagine the crunchiness in Boeing that is required for the music. Okay, interesting. So what do you have next for us? Uh, next up is uh, Glarus Gavot from his eight pieces, Opus 39. This will be played by okay. um, myself and May on the viola. Take it away. And that was Gilles Gavot from his eight pieces, Opus 39. Next up, we have May. May, come on. Hi, Abby. Hi. How are Hi. you? I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, May, I, from the previous chat that we had, on a, on a, on a, we, a personal chat that we had, you told me that you studied overseas in Germany and you attended a lot of summer music festivals. So how was your experience like? And also, um, what would you like to see us do here in Singapore that, you know, that, that was done in these festivals? Just a quick, quick one. Yeah, so for me, it was always really fun and interesting at these festivals to get to, you know, perform mm -hmm. and interact with other musicians from all over the world and all the teachers too. Yeah, so if anything, I think that uh, right now in Singapore, we have the Singapore Violin Festival. But perhaps one day we could expand it to include more instruments and maybe even have an orchestra festival. That would be really great. Yeah. That'd be fantastic. Wow. Okay, so what do you have for us next? 
Next, we have the third movement from Michael Haydn's Divertimento in C. Ooh, take it away. Okay, and that was the third movement from Michael Haydn's Divertimento in C. Wow, really being serenaded with all this music is just so amazing. Okay, let me bring all of them on. Come on, guys, all of you, all of you in one go. <laughs> Thank you so much for this musical brilliance that you've been offering us. Um, before we go to our final piece, I just want to ask all of you a quick question. Uh, what are the other musical genres that you listen to, enjoy, and maybe some of you even play it? I don't know, but you know, what are the other genres? Uh, we'll start off with Edmund. So, I think classical music, I like to listen to pop, jazz, and also music that you normally find in video games, uh, movies, and also the, the television, because I do quite a, a number of arrangements, and getting myself up to date to the recent music trends is very important. And also, it also helps me when I'm playing such music. Mm -hmm. Me? What about you? Yeah, for me, mostly I would say I enjoy listening to pop music and maybe music from movies. Yeah. Oh, okay. Interesting. Ryan, yourself, the teacher. <laughs> oh, <laughs> if I'm to pick one, it's probably uh, Bossa Nova. Uh, it's one of my favorite music genres and it's really interesting and relaxing at the same time so much so that I actually named my cello quartet group after that bossa celli <laughs> ah okay my kind of guy I love bossa nova too um, Brenda yourself uh, yeah I mean jazz pop movie music uh, whatever's playing in the house really I just it's just like it's, no a, it's a way of life really <laughs> you were studying in America no hip hop music no like you know uh, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much for, 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 for playing all these beautiful pieces for us. And we have one final piece, which will be the third movement uh, from Rossini's String Sonata. Um, 
Before we go to that, I would like to thank you all for, for this time. I'll, I'll come back to you after you've played this piece. So without much further ado, let's take it away, guys. And that was the third movement uh, from Rossini's String Sonata. Wow, amazing. Come on, let's have everyone back on, back on. Thank you, guys. You've got to give yourselves a round of applause. Come on. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. Thank you so much for serenading us with these beautiful pieces of music. I enjoyed it. I'm sure everyone watching us enjoyed it as much as I did. If you enjoyed this program, all you have to do is log on to National Arts Council's FB Live every evening and continue to support local music, continue to support us, and continue to support National Arts Council and the arts in Singapore. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, till next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.